Hey, what's going on guys? A crazy Glucker here, uh, bringing you episode 9 of our Be A GM mode here uh, in Buffalo. So, uh, I just wanted to update you guys, um, 23, 22, and 5, uh, that's not bad. And uh, if for anybody who saw the draft, oh my god, Buffalo's going to be like 55 and 5 next, uh, next year. Uh, so that's going to be pretty fun to watch. So, we have kind of a tough road ahead of us. We have Montreal, uh, St. Louis, Dallas, uh, Ottawa, the New York Islanders, uh, Philadelphia, Nashville, uh, and we end with Florida. Okay, so that's a pretty tough road. I know Florida isn't doing well and Montreal isn't doing well, but uh, both really good teams. Uh, everyone else seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, New York's doing really well. Uh, Nashville, uh, Columbus? No, Columbus, same as us. Uh, Dallas is doing really well and St. Louis is doing really well so we have a lot of teams that are doing really well so uh, we'll see how that goes um, I think our team's gonna gonna be able to come back here I think uh, let's look at our lines I don't want to even change the lines uh, we're winning we've been winning the last few games I don't even want to change the lines uh, but yeah basically uh, if you missed last episode we beat we beat them 5-2 I think we beat uh, uh, what team was it? Vancouver. We beat Vancouver 5-2. And uh, Gergensen's Atkinson played really well. Gergensen's played well. Hanzus played okay. Actually, no, he didn't play well. Hanzus didn't play well. That's probably because he's injured, so we'll give him that. Um, our specialty teams played really well. Uh, our goalie, uh, Mason, new acquired goalie, uh, he played really well. Uh, Georges and Bogosian played you know, to their ability, Mazaros and Schultz, even Weber and Hickey, they played well. So everybody seemed to be playing well, everything seemed to click. So let's leave the lines like this, and uh, we'll see how well this month goes. I think it'll go okay. I think, uh, even though we have a lot of tough teams ahead, I think this month will end smoothly. I hope it ends smoothly. Um, but yeah, Florida is our last game, and that will be showcased next episode. So uh, next Tuesday, I believe. But I think I think we're pretty good. If only we could. I don't know if we can ja uh, if we can draft Jack Eichel, but I wish we could. That'd be pretty sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna depending on where we end in the and the uh, depending on where we end uh, in the standings, I might go for. I might go for uh, Connor McDavid, but let's see here. So McCormick, we don't need McCormick. We're clearly playing well without him. No offense, McCormick. Actually, no. I think we can just leave the lines. Yeah. So I'll just leave it like that. Uh, McCormick, we could use him, I guess, if a center gets injured, but don't think we need to. Um, another big switch is we put Ennis on the. Okay, so this will. It's St. Louis, though. And that wasn't a bad loss, 4-2. But uh, anyways, so, yeah. Ennis, he is second-line center, I believe. Uh, I know he's right-winger in this game. Okay, that's another loss to Dallas. Okay, a win against the Islanders. That's great. Okay, they are a good team, too. Uh, no, that's a bad trade. No, don't want that. We'll trade him, though. We'll trade him soon. Trade deadline, we're going to trade a few players. Yeah, because our team just isn't that good. We need to re... not rebuild, but restructure. And uh, I think a few trades are going to have to happen for that to... For that to, uh... You know, come into effect here. But, uh, let's see. Philly, New Jersey, Philly. Philly should be an easy opponent. Yes, okay, good. Alright, where are we going to scout this time, boys? I'm thinking we gotta go to Scandinavia somewhere. Uh, oh wow, in Finland they've got a lot of players. Should we go for forwards in Finland? I think we should, for about three weeks. I don't see how that's bad at all. Then we should go back to Canada for another defenseman. Even though we're kinda good on defensemen, I think we should go for defensemen. Jersey's gonna be tough. Oh, wow, okay, 4-1. 4-1. That's pretty good. Let's see Philadelphia. 
Can we sweep them? This month? Yes, we can. That's 8 4. Oh, shit! Steve Mason. Ooh, we might. How long? Depending on how long he's injured, we might need to trade for. Uh, what's his name? Plays for New Jersey. It'll come to me, but uh, we need to trade for him. The goalie. Uh, backup goalie. We might need to trade for him closer than expected. I guess Lewin's our best goalie. We better just send him up there. Alrighty. How long is Mason injured for? I was not going to tell us. Hackett just isn't good enough. He's not good enough for... For, uh... You know, starting. Steve Mason, does it tell you how long he's injured for here? Ooh, 17 wins out of 43 games played. But it's only because he started from... Uh, started from uh, the bottom. No, started from whatever. Okay, so he hasn't even played yet. Yeah, see, so like, he, he sucks. Like, he doesn't suck, but, like, he sucks. So we need to get Hackett out of here. Uh, we need to get that other... I know he's a lower... Even if they're a lower rating, that doesn't mean they're necessarily like a worse player. You kind of get that? Like, say somebody's a 78, but it's like... Like, say Scott Clemenson comes in, or it's Mac Hackett. I would choose Scott Clemenson, because what they do is they... Their age just makes them better. Like, you would think that... Cheat Code Limbach would be better than Hackett, and he is. For some reason, it's just just the way it is. I wonder if they tweak the reflexes or puck control, or sometimes their reflexes are better than their athleticism, and, and that just makes them worse or better. I don't know, but anyways, that's what we're gonna have to go with here. So Lewin and Hackett. I don't I don't want to trade here. I gotta check. Where do you check that? Stop the sim here. Before we fight Nashville. I want to see where they fit in here. So if we go here, we can see, right? Two weeks! Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to trade. We're gonna have to trade Steve. We're gonna have to trade for Ah, uh, what's his name? It's it's something like it's not it, it's like a mainstream name. I think. I don't know, but he's in New Jersey. New Jersey. It is. It's gonna make me so happy. Kincaid, yes, Kincaid. Oh, Wedgwood. Wow, they have Wedgwood and they just drafted Blackwood. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But anyways, Scott Wedgwood. No, we need Kincaid. Like if you see, he's like a 78, but he's not like a, like he's not horrible. He has a better save percentage. Less wins, but more shutouts, save percentage. I think he has a better goals against average too. He's only played in 16 games, so he's won over half. Yeah. Keith Kincaid. What a name. Okay, we're gonna have to trade, like, what? Not Hackett. Yeah, I'm gonna say Lewin. Like, will they just take that? No. I didn't think so. It's fine, though. Who do you want from us? Oh, all our good players. Okay. Sure, take them. Oh, this guy. Brady Austin. I'll do it. I'll give you Brady Austin if you give me somebody sh like super shit. Give me your worst player, Hallberg. I'll do that. Ah. Uh, we gotta get Kincaid, boys. We gotta get Kincaid. Uh, 
Do we give him a draft pick? Not this year for sure. I don't mean just give them one from like two years from now. Take it. Uh, if we're gonna give them the third rounder, they're gonna give us something back here. So why don't they give us the fourth round pick? Yeah, that's acceptable. This year's fourth. That was a really bad trade, but I guess the computer doesn't even know. I think we have trades on hard anyways. So, I don't know. But I'm glad that happened. We're not going to use that. We're going to be in the playoffs, like, now. Okay, so let's see. Manage the rosters. Okay, so they put Kincaid in already. They already know. Okay, so. We'll see how he does. Should I put him in? I'll put him in against Florida, so we can actually see how well he plays. Might as well. Mayor can just take him out if he starts lighting him up. Nashville's going to be tough, though. Okay, that's a good win. That's a good win. Injured elbow, but see? Mikhail Grigorenko, that's centerman. So that's perfect. We have McCormick. And McCormick didn't play, like, horribly there. I mean, fourth-line center, he's tough. But obviously, Gregorenko has a scoring ability, and skill is what we need here. So, yeah, three goals, two assists. Not bad. But they, now we've got Delp and Domingo. Delp is quick. He's a quick kid. Wow. And he has plus minus of one. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay. So, let's go. We have like a little mini winning streak here, but I probably jinxed it. Now I'm sad. No, come on. Come on, Columbus. Uh, oh, I knew it. I knew I was going to jinx it. We beat Vancouver, though. Come on. Come on, just one more win. Thank you. Thank you. Roster moves. See, I don't get this. Why doesn't it just tell me to edit lines just like before? The skaters and the rosters are fine. That's weird, boys. But anyways, wow. this That was an exciting month. We started it off kind of slow, but we only lost two games that whole month. Two games that entire month. Three games. Three games. Sorry. Three games that entire month. Wow. That's pretty good. And with teams like Nashville, New York, even New Jersey is doing well this year. Columbus was doing okay. Montreal. Those wins are well deserved. That's great. Let's see where we are in the standings here then. Wow, okay, we bumped ourselves up to third. We were were we in sixth at one point? Well now we're in third and we're are we almost tied with points with Boston? Uh four points away from Boston. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Let's see where we actually are in the standings. We got Molson. Doesn't have the cookie duster in that picture, though. Okay, so 67 points. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. Let's see where we are in the entire league here. Okay. That's We're 16th. Actually, I think that's a... Isn't that wild card? I think it is. 16. I think it is. Anyways, even if it's not, we're on a roll here. We just need one more win. Catch up in Jersey. And San Jose. Two more wins. We get all the way up here to 12th. We just got to win. Now these wins are coming very important. Becoming very important. Because uh, we're nearing the end here. What are we in? February. So we got March. Gonna sim. Got Arizona. Then we're gonna sim. Uh, that's April. That's all we got. We face Pittsburgh at the end here. 40, 17, and 4. Holy shit. Imagine what they're gonna be next year with Kessel. Kessel? I can't believe that trade went through. I'm, I don't even know how to feel about that trade. Like, I guess I'm happy that he's happy. He wasn't happy in Toronto. 
but I'm not happy that we just traded our best player and that we don't have any players like that anymore. Fanuf's a dud. Kessel's gone. I mean, we have Bozak, Lupul, but they aren't, they aren't, they're no Kessel. They're no franchise player. I mean, Kadri's getting up there, I guess, but wow. Can't believe that. It's like the Islanders trading Tavares. Like, okay, bye. Anyways, and we got nothing back either. We got like Sprong, Harrington, which they're going to be good. But in like 10 years, they're going to be good. So like, fuck, man. It's another re Leafs rebuild we got to wait years for. But anyways, whatever. That was actually, that was a quick GM mode. Um, we've already looked at the stats like two episodes ago, but I guess we can still. Let me look at the stats after those couple of games. No, oh no data, no players on the team, great. So Molson and Ennis are still pretty much leading. Uh, Gergensen's is up there, Atkinson's is up there. That's surprising, okay. His plus minus was like negative 30 before this. Now he has 28 assists and 18, 26 assists and 18 goals. With 116 shots, this guy goes crazy. I'm really glad we added him to the roster. Look at that, 116 shots, and he's been on our team for what, how long? Like obviously some of those shots carry over, but still, that's pretty good. This first line is getting it done with Atkinson, Molson, and Gergensen, and Ennis here is obviously making the second line better. 20, almost 30 goals. Almost 30 goals. He's definitely going to be our goal scorer. Gurdonson is clearly our, our disher, but he's got good deking. He's got good passing. Molson, probably about the same thing, right? Oh, he's better. 87 passing. That's not bad. That's more than not bad. That's really good. Now, he was drafted ninth round. Wow. That's insane. I miss him in, in Long Island. But anyways, Hodgson... Even this year, he they the Buffalo Sabres were just like go leave us like we don't even need the cap space like you're not even good enough. So that kind of sucks for Hodgson. We got Kane here, Grigorenko. He's it's not bad. I know he got traded, but we'll pretend like we didn't trade him. Mazaros is pretty good. Bogosian's doing well. Gianta's doing all right. Georges is doing well. Plus minus of three. That's tough being on the first line. Mike Weber, he was doing well, he still is. Zach Delp, he was doing well. Felino, yeah. Hanzus, not very good. He was good that one game we had him. And he is still really good at faceoffs, but man, he's just just not the one guy. He wins the faceoffs. He just doesn't like look at those shots. Only thirty six shots. It's I don't know. He's not a goal scorer, but still. Hickey's getting up there. Sixty eight shots. Seven assists. I mean, he is on the third line. That's not bad. Ristolainen, he, not very good, but that's okay. McCormick. Oh, hey, his plus minus went up. One. Schultz. There you go. Plus minus of three. That's great. That's great news. He's got two assists, but he, he's good at defense. He's a defensive defenseman. What, did, what more do you expect? All right. And that's it. Well, boys, I think that's all I'm going to show you today. Uh... I guess I guess next week I'll I'll give you the whole Well rivalry. Predators and Red Wings, yeah, yeah. Um King Cade will play against Florida. We can actually see in depth how well he plays. But clearly he's pretty good if we're winning a few games here. So uh Yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh thanks a lot for the views. Uh subscribe if you want to see more. Uh basically I do one probably every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, yeah, I very rarely miss a day, and if I do, I'll let you guys know. Um, but anyways, uh, hit that like button if you want to see more of this. And uh, basically, I'm just doing this this mode till Buffalo wins uh, Stanley Cup. Then, who knows, maybe I'll do another GM mode. Maybe I'll yeah, like another GM mode with another team. Uh, maybe I'll do some more Forza videos. Uh, I don't know. Sky's the limit, boys. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.